under fire right now I'm in the call and Josh and he talked about being in the jungles and actually I was very impressed in fact I want to go to jungles I never want to go anywhere out of Lansdale and after hear talking I want to go to jungles and I'm also a little saddened by some of the things you said good well, go on we were sharing a couple of the things that we shared were that when I first went to the jungle 11 years ago, we walked two hours to get to the jungle camp through jungle. And the second time I went back, just six months later, about one third of that walk was now a cow pasture. And those cows were there because it was a McDonald's for McDonald's. And that was a very, very real situation that I, I witnessed. And and then we didn't talk about it in the talk, but the community that we were living in, this Brazilian company came in and offered to buy out pretty much the whole community to plant palm. And all these companies are going in and like deforesting different parts just to plant palm. Which What's are, palm? Palm oil. For, for palm, palm oil. oil. Oh, I see. For vegetable oil. Cheap, 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 cheap. They're going to buy out and then... <coughs> sell this oil. And they're destroying For burgers? For... Yeah. It's Anything. just a corporation. Corporation yeah. oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, these were people that were near and dear to our hearts that, thank God that as a community they decided not to, but it would have been a whole community that would have been wiped out just basically to grow these palm trees. And then you don't have the same ecosystem that's there with all the other plants if you just plant palm trees and then that affects everything so it's, it's a real thing and you also see the Amazon's been affected by the, uh, the climate change yes. yeah. yeah well this past time we were there in rainy season in January and I've been there in rainy yeah. season before and it, it rains every day in rainy season this past time it was just as dry if not drier that's the first the time season. ever that I've experienced that you've experienced and and there's, we watched a documentary about it, about people living in the jungle who are being deeply affected by it. Wow. But and what is exactly you do in the jungle? There's not too many people go in the jungle. Not too many people I know live in the jungle. Okay. So we, we do what we call cultural detox work. We bring people to the jungle to dis help them disconnect from, from the matrix and every unhealthy condition that we have within this culture cultural context and bring them into this very natural environment to help them connect with themselves and detox what's not good within their bodies, their emotional patterns, mental patterns, behavioral patterns, beliefs, and reestablish a natural connection, connection to nature and the natural rhythms and cycles. And we call it cultural detox and uh, then we live there, well, when we're there, we also that's our home. We consider it our home. We're here, it's our home, but there is like where our hearts are. Wow. It's really our home. Anyway, this is live from Arnold's. Anything else you want to say? Want to talk a little about how to get contact you? Oh, sure. I uh, go ahead. So our website is radiantheart.one. Radiantheart.one. And we have a lot of information about the retreats and retreats. Also the work that we do and a lot of information about what we've seen Happening. You say so many miracle transformations. People could barely walk, leave there two, three weeks later being able to carry, yeah. carry like heavy sacks on their back. Mm -hmm. It's true. Uh, and we do work here too to help you go into this process, but here's our cultural detox. Day anyway, one. And anyway, this is Life from Arnold's Way. Life from Arnold's Way with uh, Josh and Nicole. Speaking about their Amazon jungle experience and how it's affecting the, the world. It is. Okay, bye. Bye.